We're sharing our favorite healthy noodle recipes because, you know, I think that my number one favorite food on planet Earth, without a doubt, is pasta. Yeah, maybe right under pizza, but pasta is right there for me. Carbs and cheese, it's all yeah. the same thing. I'm but sold. my metabolism is asleep at the switch. It's like a drunk sloth. It's just not available to me. My metabolism is an active senior. You know, it's just taking it easy. <laughs> Well, you said something in the break that I really loved because I'm a fluctuator. I have fluctuated my whole life. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's so important because I have fluctuated big swings, you know, like I just said, 50 pounds. And I just recently saw a picture of my heaviest, which was like 250 something. And I looked at it and I first I felt such, such disdain and I thought, no, I've got to love myself there. I've got to love myself at my weakest or at my worst if I want to be anywhere else. So I, ju I just made peace and apologized to that person. And, and I thought that was so powerful to do. I have to tell you, I really think that that is wise and caring. Mm. So I had to tell everyone because Aww, thanks, I think we tend it. to look at ourselves and be like, don't go there. You don't want to be this person. And it's like, no, love that person. You mm -hmm. don't have to stay there and be stuck, but love. Love that person and learn, which is why we're trying to find new ways to stay healthy, right? So what I learned was I am the biggest, I should be their spokesperson. This noodle is made out of chickpeas. Now, I'm just gonna be honest, if you're eating gluten-free, you are not necessarily eating the lightest and the healthiest. Mm -hmm. A lot of it is made with a lot of bloating rice products. Okay. So chickpea is a really healthy alternative for your body and the way it can digest I it. I love chickpea, it's like a garbanzo bean. That's a chickpea, right? And your body processes it very different than a rice product. Your body processes it. My body processes <laughs> that chickpea. I love the chickpea. <laughs> okay. So I love this pasta and of course my favorite food is macaroni and cheese. So it's not surprising to me that I grew up loving pesto mm -hmm. because that is basically like almost foodie mac and cheese. It's so delicious too and the, it, it's so easy to make. I love it. So I'm gonna show you with this chickpea noodle. Um, also, when your body is trying to process like a white flour and a dairy, mm. it's going to town. It's in like a boxing match for its life. But if you've got chickpea noodles and then a little dairy and the Parmesan cheese of a pesto, you're not layering so many things that your body has to do. So we're gonna take four bunches of basil, uh, a quarter <laughs> cup of pine nuts. The recipe usually calls for about three cloves of garlic. I go four. I would go five, I love it. Great, and then you have about a cup of Parmesan cheese. There she is. Now I put a little olive oil in, but one of the best things to do with your olive oil is actually emulsify it while you're blending. How bright it is. Yum. I can smell the basil from here. Absolutely. It's so gorgeous. Um, this has a really bright, beautiful green color. Um, this is fun watching you do, do this the way, in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Anyway. <laughs> you just All right, your so hand. then <laughs> it's just my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yummy. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's Look beautiful. at this beautiful, bright green, gorgeous pasta. I but mean, it's chickpea. It, but it's chickpea, and look at how well that these noodles hold this. I happen to love fusilli because it holds all the sauce, especially with something like a pesto. Is that this shape of the noodle, fusilli? Fusilli. Wow, I didn't know that. Yes. All right, can I taste it now, Drew? Yes, absolutely. So this now, is chickpea and pesto. Uh, yes, this is chickpea with pesto. Now, the other thing that I wanna say to all the vegans out there, because I grew up vegetarian. Oh my God, I can't even speak right now. Another alternative to this that I really love um, is you can use a thing called nutritional yeast. Now, although it's the most disgusting culinary term. Yeah, could we rebrand that and name I it know. something else? I mean, it's, it's just, the yeast they could do. It's the yeast <laughs> they could do. <laughs> um, it's so true. So now this actually functions in texture and taste like cheese. And it has nine different amino acids. 
and it is my favorite alternative for a vegan pesto, or if you're just trying to lose weight or clean your system out or detox a little bit, one of the best ways, to be honest, is to get rid of dairy for a little bit. So this way, you don't have to give up all the pleasure. You're eating it raw and plain. I just want to try it. I've been dying to try By nutritional way, yeast. So let me try it. Did you like this? Uh, hold on. Okay, it's not Parmesan, but it's not bad, right? Did you like the taste of this pasta? This pasta is so crazy delicious, Drew. It is so fresh with the basil and bright. It was made with this. Shut up, mm -hmm. was it really? Did yeah. you do the switcheroo on Ross Matthews? Isn't that incredible? Okay, by itself, I don't know. On the pasta, I'm, I'm, I'm all down with yeast. It's just an amazing way to indulge and eat the food that is delicious and doesn't taste like diet food, but it exactly. is going into your body as if you are eating something so good for it. So we went noodle to noodle. Mm -hmm. uh, I was impressed with your noodle. Yeah, I was pretty <laughs> impressed with your noodle too. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, you know why we're, we're smart, because we use our noodles. <laughs> we noodled on it. Well, thank you for noodling on it with me, Ross. Uh